Hey everybody, Fletcher Stump here. Welcome back to Radioactive Inc. and to Top 10. And I got one today that I think you guys are really gonna like. So, my last one had great response with the Top 10 things that I would like to watch explode. So, I was sitting around and I was thinking, damn, there's a lot of good games coming out lately. And then it hit me. There are video game weapons I wish were real. So this is the 10 video game weapons I wish were real. Starting off our list, we have the Lancer from Gears of War. For those moments where you've thought to yourself, hmm, I've riddled this target with holes, but what more could I do to it? Well, the Lancer is definitely going to be your weapon of choice, because along with a 30 round clip, it has a chainsaw attachment for those moments where you just want to cut shit in half just to watch it bleed or splinter or whatever the fuck it's going to do. That's why it's number 10. Now, it is, it is, for as awesome as a weapon as it is, everything else on this list, a lot more fun and a lot more badass. So, let's keep on moving. At number 9, we have the Hammer of Dawn, also from Gears of War. I was originally going to keep this one per series, but then I realized there's not very many weapons that are really, you know, different than what we have now, except for a couple of games. So, the Hammer of Dawn is awesome because it summons a fucking laser beam of death from the goddamn sky and annihilates fucking anything. Now, it is number nine on the list because the charge-up time, kind of a hindrance, if you ask me. It has just a little bit too much of a charge-up time, and if the satellite's out of orbit, it's not going to be much good to you. So that's why it's number nine. But let's move right along. At number 8, we have the Dragon Roar from Skyrim. Because, let me ask you people something. Have you ever been walking around, and there's a person that you don't like ahead of you, and they see you, and they just keep walking towards you, and you think, oh god, if only there was something I could do just to fucking get them out of here. Well, guess what? The Fusruda? is definitely what you fucking need. If that shit makes a bear go flying, imagine what it's gonna do to a goddamn person. And personally, it'd just be awesome to sit there in a mall going, FOSRUDA! And fucking everything goes flying away. <laughs> You'd never have to wait in a line again. You'd be able to be first in line for everything. Sorry, sir, you have to wait in line. FOSRUDA! What line? I'm next. <laughs> But let's keep on moving, what do you say? So, at number 7, we have the Rubber Duck Bombs, also known as the Quackers, from Crackdown 2. Now, the reason these are on the list is because they're entertaining, annoying, and destructive, all rolled into one easily duck-shaped package. Now, you find them at the carnival at the Duck Hunt booth, wouldn't you know it? And when you attach them to something, they sit there and go quack, 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 quack. And then when you detonate them, they make a squeaky duck noise going, <laughs> which is fucking hilarious. But they are the most destructive bombs in the game, pretty much getting rid of anything in your way. And that's why they sit so high up on this list, because as annoying as they are, they are destructive as fuck. Plus, if you're planning on blowing something up, you can just annoy the hell out of everybody within like a one block radius just for the fun of it before you destroy it. Everybody had to listen to quack, 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 That'd be funny. And you know it would be. So, bringing it in at number six, we have the grappling hook from the Just Cause series. Now, you may be asking yourselves, a grappling hook? That doesn't qualify as a weapon that y We have grappling hooks. That's already real. We have grappling hooks, yes. But our grappling hooks can't do what this grappling hook does. This grappling hook moves fucking planes. It can spin a fucking cargo plane around. You find me a fucking grappling hook that can do that these days. Cause it ain't gonna fucking happen. On top of that, you can whip motherfuckers to the ground with it. Which is fantastically useful. So, a grappling hook that can move a cargo plane, you have got to imagine the tension strength on that bitch without it breaking. 
So yeah, I want the fucking grappling hook from the Just Cause series because that thing could rip down a fucking skyscraper. I'm pretty sure it could anyway. At number five, from the Halo series, we have the Spartan Laser. Sure, it has a three second charge time, but it pretty much one hit kills anything as long as you hit your target. And with that kind of power, it's hard not to want it, right? It fires a red laser beam of death at whatever it's pointed at. And will pretty much just, again, get rid of anything in its path. Now, the downside, only the Spartans are really capable of using it because of how much power it truly has. So, apparently the kickback on this thing is enough to snap someone's arm clean off. But I still want one. It would be amazing to just fire it at somebody and watch them disappear. At number four, we have the Cybersaurus from the Supreme Commander series. Now, yes, Supreme Commander is a real-time strategy game, but the Cybersaurus is the most destructive thing in that game. Once it's fully upgraded, there is nothing that is going to stop that bitch from wiping out whatever is in its path. With flamethrower breath, fucking air-to-ground missiles that fire off of its back, this thing is a walking fucking mountain. And let me tell you something, not even the game nukes stop this bitch. You can hit it with five, and it's still trucking along like nothing fucking happened. It's just like, ugh, I got itchy. Fuck you. And it just annihilates fucking everything in its path. How could you not want one of these as your own personal fucking home defense weapon? No one would ever come in range of you ever again. So, at number three, we have the junk loader from the Fallout games. Now, why the junk loader, you may ask? Do me a favor and look around your house or room real quick. Okay, yeah, you see all the shit laying all over the place? You can stuff that into the junk loader and then fire it at people. What could possibly be better than that? Taste my teddy bear! Taste my jeans! Fuck laundry, fuck yard sales, put it in the junk loader and just start shooting that bitch off. Who knows where it's gonna go? Who cares if it breaks? Not you. You fired it. It's no longer yours. <laughs> but let's keep going, huh? At number two, come on now, you knew it was going to be on the list, the BFG from Doom. Because who wouldn't want a fucking giant ass laser plasma fucking whatever the hell it is gun that annihilates fucking three enemies in one shot? And I don't mean like little enemies, I mean the big fuckers. It annihilates like three of them in one goddamn shot, and if you upgrade it, oh, you better fucking believe it, it's going to be killer. It will wipe out everything that stands in front of it. It don't matter. So the BFG, fuck yeah, buy one today. Too bad they're not real. But seriously, the BFG, the big fucking gun? Come on now. You have got to want one of these bastards for when the hell apocalypse arises. Fuck you demons, I got the BFG and I'm fucking safe. The drawback? Doesn't hold a lot of ammo, but you know what? If you have a lot of ammo on hand, fuck it! Go nuts with the goddamn thing! <laughs> but, I've got to tell you, I feel like number one really makes the list. So, number one. I was honestly in debate over this choice for quite a while. It was a very hard decision but I feel like it was the best one that truly suited me. At number one on the list, we have the Gravity Hammer from the Halo series. Now, you may ask yourselves, why would he want the Gravity Hammer to be his number one pick? It's a real life ban hammer, people. Come on now. <laughs> okay, I earlier, like way, way beforehand, like in the days of Halo 3, I calculated out how much force the gravity hammer is actually dealing out based upon, you know, gameplay footage, trailers, so on and so forth. This thing is actually kicking out 20 G's worth of force on the downswing. 
That's why it kills and crushes the enemies right in front of it. This is 20 fucking G's. Whoever's in front of you is a goddamn pancake on the ground, wall, or floor. Now, immediately the drawbacks, you're going to need some serious strength to handle one of these bitches. Otherwise, you're going to lose your hand, you're going to go flying backwards, and you'll probably die. But, it'd be one hell of an experience to even get one swing off of this bitch. Just to fucking flatten somebody out. And just think, it's the ultimate shop defense. Somebody tries to come in and rob you, boom! Grab at that bitch to the floor. <laughs> So, everybody, I hope that you enjoyed this. Uh, let me, uh, you know, like the video if you liked it. Let me know about the weapon you would like to be real down there in the comments section below and leave me your thoughts. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to this channel. Top 10 lists are coming back and they're going to be a big part of this channel. They're going to be a regular thing. And there's going to be more of them like this coming up. And share this video around with your friends. Let them see this video. Man, this was awesome. I love doing this. But until then, everybody, I'm Fletcher Stump with Radioactive Inc. signing out.